Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do a full kind of face for the most part using this box from Revolution Makeup um, or Makeup Revolution. Holy crud, I cannot read. Makeup Revolution London. So anyways, I was on their website and this was actually the 12 days of Christmas 2017. So it was kicking off the 2018 year. I think I got this for like 50% off. Don't quote me. But I was really intrigued by it. So when you open up, it does say on the inside, which I probably will keep this box, you can never have too much makeup. And that is true because I'm always buying new colors, new brands. I'm always testing, testing, testing. On my own dime, by the way. Not that that really matters. But I do enjoy testing. I do enjoy trying different makeup just to give you kind of, you know, where should you spend your money or where might you spend your money. Not that I'm the perfect... Uh, person, but if you've got skin types like myself, it may help you purchase. So anyways, in this, I really loved how cute this is. So we had some HD Brows, Ultra Strobe Balm Blush uh, Palette, a Progo bl uh, Brush Set, Ultra Nudes, which that's what I had used. I You'll actually see a different look in a very short minute, or you did on my thumbnail because I forgot to do the intro and exit. What can I say? Um, let's see, the Ultra Strobe Cream, the Focus Fix Eye Primer, the Makeup Fixing Spray, the Aqua Priming Base. We had some Ultra Metal Eyeshadow Palette, the ultra neutral eyeshadow palette and I did use that and then the ultra color color explosion and it is a color explosion so I just love how they box this up and I'm really curious to see what they come out with for are they going to do another 12 days of Christmas for 2018 kicking off the 2019 year so um, I did get a chance to try those oh and it did come with some lippies I don't I guess I missed I missed a line. It did come with three neutral lippies, which I love neutrals, and so I got a chance to try those. The only thing that really kind of was disappointing overall, and I don't even want to say disappointing, I did use their, their base for the eyeshadow. It was very thin, so I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if that was it or by the end of the day my eyeshadow really didn't look like it lasted that long so I don't know if it was the eyeshadow base was it the eyeshadow was it the weather I don't know because I've had makeup revolution before and the colors usually stay till the end of the day so not quite sure what happened there now as far as the priming spray and the setting spray I think those went on really well. I didn't have, um, at the end of the day, my makeup still looked really good. So that was nice. Their highlighters and their strobe, pow, those were fun. I think that was the, like, off the hook, the most fun I had. Well, the eyebrows, I did not use them today, but for those women that like those perfect eyebrows, like, their palette is fantastic. So, even before bed, like, my eyebrows were still on fleek. So, if you like a, a good eyebrow, that eyebrow palette is amazing. Um, I really, really like that eyebrow palette. I did not use it today because I typically don't go for that perfect eyebrow. I go more with just what I got and uh, darken up the hair. So... Yeah, what else can I say about it? And whatever I've missed from yesterday, because I have slept, and my whole set of coffee hasn't set in, I'm still working on it. You're going to see in a minute anyways, but I, I, I was really intrigued by this box. I think I just fell in love with the, how pretty the box was and the little saying on the inside, which is why I'm going to keep it that made me pick all those but it was a great way to try a lot of makeup revolution products all at the same time so i really like that also 
it the kit didn't have a full face so i had purchased some makeup revolution uh concealer off to the side i used a different i think i used makeup forever for my base and there was no powder I'm trying to think oh not a lip liner either so it wasn't a total full face in this box but it was a dang good um, opportunity to use a lot of Makeup Revolution products that I've never used before. I've never thought about using their sprays or their strobe creams or whatever. So anyways, um, I was real, real impressed with some of their products. Again, by end of day, I was just kind of disappointed that my eyeshadow wasn't, it, it just wasn't totally there and you know it is what it is so anyways enough about me ch ch chatting you think i'd had about six cup of coffees and i've only got a half anyways i hope you enjoy this video if you have any comments or questions please put those below i love interacting with the youtube audience um i want to say hello to miss sis uh, you're you're absolutely an inspiration for me to keep this youtube channel going because you're so supportive so I really, really appreciate you out there, Miss Sis. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Strap on the seat belt. Get ready for a wild ride. Okay, probably not. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. Talk to y'all soon. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to get started with Makeup Revolution. I've already gotten some bits on my face that didn't come in this kit. So that's kind of where we're at. Although I did use the Makeup Revolution concealer, I did buy that separate. So anyways, just want to give that little bit. Um, I have used their uh, Pro Prime. It's an aqua priming base. So that's already been used underneath. And then they did come with these little travel brushes. I will not be using these today but I will be putting these in my purse so that I have those to touch up makeup throughout the day. So that's kind of getting you caught up where I am right now. They did include a eye primer and I kind of played with this last night and was not like over the moon because it's a really thin consistency I was actually hoping to be able to use this as kind of, you know, doing cut creases, but it's it's nothing at all like, oh, the concealer. So if you get their Focus and Fix eye primer, just know that it's, um, don't get overly excited that you're going to be able to use this as a primer and a cut something to do a cut crease it ain't gonna happen let's see what else did i have to comment on <laughs> so we're just gonna put a powder on and i'm using the maybelline fit me because this package did not have a powder it also did not have obviously the contour but i thought about it after i put on the contour it does have an eyebrow palette and the eyebrow palette probably would have been good to use like as a cream contour so we're gonna try that up underneath the chin I'm gonna I'm gonna go brave and go with this really dark color here so yeah I think that could work as kind of a contour along with an eyebrow bit so i'm going to take an angle brush here i am going to go with one of the lighter creams to kind of define my eyebrows as you all know i really don't mess with my eyebrows overall i use the wonder brow to stick it in my eye eyebrow hair but um, that's about it I'm just not an eyebrow person I mean there's definitely women out there that are freaking amazing with eyebrows so this eyebrow cream is going on really nice I will say that 
Okay, so that eyebrow cream went on absolutely amazing. I'm going to pick up a bit of this powder now because I feel like I need to set the cream. I don't know. It's super creamy. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills is a lip a, a lot less creamy. So I just kind of feel like I need to set this a little bit. I'm afraid if I touch my eyebrows, like it'll smear. That's how creamy it is, if that makes sense. So hopefully this will help it set up. And I don't know that it'll now do that. I also don't want to tempt fate. Okay, so that is on. Now, I'm trying to debate if I want to use the powder or the cream. I think I want to try to do the cream. Yeah, now I realize why I don't do eyebrows. It takes a lot of time. I just like putting on my little eyebrow gel stuff and being done. Just probably why my makeup look never totally looks complete. Now, I do like this. I could see myself gravitating to this every day white cream is going on lovely and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the powder feels like I haven't done my eyebrows for real in so long this is crazy okay so that is the HD revolution makeup HD pro brows kind of like it um i think i'll go ahead and go into the eye look so we've got these three different palettes here and i'm kind of caught between i don't know i think we're gonna whoa these do come oh these come with one of these spongy brushes well not a brush these spongy applicators love these all right that's gonna go off to the side I'm going to pick up, and they don't have the colors on it. This is called the Ultra Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. So we're going to pick up, say, this color here. And it, oof, does have some fallout. So make sure you tap that brush. Holy crud. So you can kind of see on the pan there, maybe not, that there's, there's definitely some fallout. Okay, so now we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to go two shades deeper, and I'm going above that crease line, and I'm kind of making an upside down U or maybe a horseshoe. Since this has more that fallout than I normally like to work with, but I do like the color, so it's a win-win there or it offsets the fallout. I'm gonna, I'm just going ahead and blending and kind of removing some of that extra fallout, but then blending the colors in. I think I'm gonna go into maybe this brownish color here. It's kind of like a chocolate color. And I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna go into more of the crease and come down. Again, doing the horseshoe that I was doing earlier, but actually in my crease. <clears throat> Next, okay, so I want a little bit of a different kind of look today than I normally go for. Maybe not. I'll always do something strange, I guess. Well, maybe not strange. Anyways, I'm picking up the Sinful Colors. This is Shady Babe. And these are cream eyeshadows. So what I want to do is use this kind of bluish gray. Now, I did have some other colors. My husband got these for me for Christmas. These are actually brow colors. Uh, I will not use these for brows. I will use them for eyeshadows. But I do want to use this bluish gray color or this steel color. And it, I'm not sure that I really like this applicator for what I'm trying to accomplish. And you notice I said trying. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of the brushes that I normally use 
for a cut crease. And these seem to be drying better. I was playing with these last night, or the eyebrow one last night to see because I was actually thinking about using that as the eyeshadow. Now, if I do that in the future, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to be patient and work with it. It has a longer dry time compared to what the actual eyeshadow ones do. So I'm just kind of picking up again this one on what I normally use as my cut crease brush. So my first impression on these sinful colors is I liked how that went on. Um, so we're just going to wait a minute to let it dry because these, even though they dry faster than the eyebrow ones, still not drying that quick. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the face, finish it up before we go back to the eyes. And so I've got three lippies, all neutrals, which, you know, makes me happy. Start with this one and it is, let me see why they call it lip sheer. That's awfully light. I'm going to pick up Lip Euphora. And they do feel very like a lip gloss. I think I'm getting closer to the eyeshadow feeling like it's drying down, but I'm going to keep going with the blushes. So I'm going to pick up a blush. I think I want to go with this color here. They all seem kind of dark to me, so I'm hoping... Alright, as far as the blushes go, they are dark, but I went ahead and blew off any of the excess, and I think that came out really pretty. So, I like that. They do have these powders, but they also have a strobe balm. I'm not sure what you use a strobe balm for. And they also have a strobe cream. So, we're going to try the strobe cream first. I'm... I normally don't like using these kind of things because it usually pulls off my foundation. So we're gonna, ooh, we're gonna be hopeful. It says that it's a cream provides the most subtle and natural illumination and highlighting. So I'm gonna take a bit of a closer peek to see. It is subtle, and it doesn't look like it's pulled off my foundation, so that's good. So now I'm going to try the strobe balm. That's really intriguing to me. And since I have the blue-ish, I'm going to pick up some of this blue. Whoa. Okay, we're definitely going to have to pat that in. <laughs> I'm just layering. Okay, the strobe balm is fun. And it, it's got that blue. It's got a holographic effect. That's fun. And because, I don't know, we're still working on some highlight. I'm trying to debate, do I want the purple or the pink on top? I think I'll go with this pinky color. <laughs> because we need to set that balm, right? Holy mackerel! Oh my lord. Um, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So, I do think that that is now set. Let me try to go over a bit with the blush again. All right, so that that was a trip. We're going to go back into the eyes. I think for sure now they're dry. I'm going to pick up now this little pencil brush type thing and um, a bit of this color that looks a lot like a camel-ish color. And I'm going to try to soften this a bit on top. Playing with makeup is a blast. Alright, so I'm picking back the pack up the brush from earlier with the chocolate. And we're gonna 
soften the edges here. Picking up the blending brush, because again, we want to knock off any fallout, but blend. Okay, so basically I've used everything in the box up to this point, and the most fun, again, was that highlighter. That was an absolute blast. So what we now need to switch to is eyeliner, mascara, etc. But before we do that, we're going to finish with the Pro Fix fixing spray. Okay. So this fixing spray, like the priming spray, has a nozzle that shot out. This one shoots, it seems like, through a hole like this. Holy mackerel. And I think I shot it straight up my left nostril, which isn't good. So, yeah, I might have went a little crazy. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Pretty Vulgar, the ink blacklist eye gel liner I just tried it yesterday for the first time and I really want to try it again I used yesterday one of those fine tip brushes and it just didn't go on good this is really creamy also so you got to be kind of careful especially if you got old eyeballs like me where you have wrinkles so yeah it just didn't want to play nice yesterday when I was putting it on with that really fine tip brush and I think that's why I prefer these to be a little bit more dried out before I use them and not this creamy. I think this creamy is great for ladies that don't have wrinkles and you're young. A very creamy eyeliner is very hard to use when you have a little bit of aging eyes because I think it moves more than when you have one that's a little more dry. And what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of a fluffier brush to kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, so we've got the first coat of all mascara, both upper and lower. I am going to use some false lashes because I just want this look to be like, hello, sunshine. And these are the Baddington lashes. I got these out of BoxyCharm and I used them for the first time yesterday and I really liked them. These are supposed to last up to 25 uses, which I think is phenomenal. They retail for I think like $28 maybe so yeah i thought they were pretty cool they go on super easy and they're they're comfortable so what more could you ask for in a false eyelash that's not magnetic because y'all know that i've really gotten into the magnetic ones mostly i get into the magnetic ones in all truthfulness because my eyes do not like glue anymore because i haven't used any with glue in a while they're they're doing okay, but I probably won't be able to do this uh, like a third day in a row because um, my eyes will start acting up. So I got some glue on the actual eyelash, so this one might be not easy to put, put on. Actually, they go on super amazing. Okay, so this completes the Makeup Revolution look with a tad bit from Pretty Vulgar and some spotted colors from Sinful Colors. So, you know the drill. I'm going to go do my hair while these eyelashes dry. I'll be back. You're one second. Mine probably 30 minutes.